Hello, my name is Brittany Triola and I'm the treasurer of Granville Schools. I'm going to talk a little bit about the district's financial position and how the income tax fits into the overall financial plan for the district. In 2018, the community voted to approve a five-year 0.75 all income tax levy. The income tax was originally passed for a period of five years to test the concept since it was a brand new way to generate funding. The district has found that the concept works well and that the income tax now makes up about 20% of total operating revenue. Granville schools have long been good stewards of the community's investment in quality schools. D the district continues to demonstrate its fiscal stewardship by spending less per pupil than a majority of its peer districts with a similar performance rating. The district also utilizes federal funds and private donations as much as possible to offset operating and capital expenditures. Now I'd like to address some frequently asked questions regarding the levy renewal. First, why are Granville schools so reliant on local taxpayers for funding? There are two major reasons for this. First, about 90% of property value in the district comes from residential properties, which means there's very little commercial development upon which to share the tax burden. Second, Granville is considered a wealthy district by the state funding formula, and therefore we receive a relatively small portion of funding from the state. What's the difference between a property tax and an income tax? Property tax levies are approved for a set rate, but as property values increase due to reappraisal, the tax rate is adjusted down so that the district continues to collect approximately the same amount of revenue each year. Since 58% of the district's revenue does not increase with inflation, there is a continued desire to diversify its revenue streams. The income tax adjusts with the economic conditions of the community, allowing the district to extend the amount of time before a new property tax is needed. Why is this levy proposed to be continuing instead of another five years? With anticipated growth and a budget comprised of 77% staff salaries and benefits, it is essential to have stability and predictability in funding in order to ensure quality continuation of services for all students now and in the future. To ensure the income tax continues as a consistent source of funding, the board decided to ask for it to be made continuing like all other operating levies in the district. Why does the district need a cash balance? The district's cash balance fluctuates significantly from month to month due to the timing of its revenue payments. From a cash flow perspective, it is prudent to have several months of cash on hand in order to ensure payroll and other expenditures are paid on time. It is also a normal part of the levy cycle to build up cash in the years immediately following a new levy and then spend down as expenditures begin to match revenue. The district is being fiscally responsible by saving these funds for future needs rather than spending them now. Thank you so much for your time and interest in Granville Schools.